All right, all right, all right. What's going on, gamers? Robert Walkner here from CoinOp TV. Going to be playing some Dead Space 3 on the Xbox 360. Now, just a quick heads up. This is a mature title. There's zombies, blood, gore, violence, lots of things like that. So if you're one of my portal masters and you're a, a young youngster, then you should probably not watch this video. With that said, Dead Space 3 is out now on multiple platforms and... Um, if you're unfamiliar with the Dead Space universe, you're you're Isaac, this guy right here, and uh, I I loved the first game, played played a lot of it, and um, the second game I liked a lot. I never finished the second game though. I should probably go back and finish that. Now I got the third game in my hands, and I wanted to do some gameplay to just kind of just this is like a, just a little like taste, a taste of the game to show you kind of like what it looks like, what it feels like. It's very early in the game. I haven't really even modified any of my weapons. Let's listen to this here. Hey, look, I'm on patrol. Make this quick, all right? It's his birthday. <sighs> Shit. Is that Dad? Thanks for the present, Dad. When are you coming home? Soon. Okay. I love you, Dad. Who wants to play soldiers? You gave him a soldier. John, he idolizes you. Well, you better get that idea out of his head. You got that? I gotta go. Love you. All right, so um, you know you can see the environment is somewhat interactive. You can kind of see. Can I kind of knock any of these plates and stuff over? Yes, you know, all of that. So um, the game mechanics are a little more advanced, I guess, than the last time around. You can you can do a few more things. Isaac's got like a little more weaponry. I've got sort of this this gun here that's pretty insane. Um, and then that kind of shoots stuff. That's kind of similar to sort of his gun from like the first couple games. And uh, and I've got a buddy who follows me around. <laughs> There's some co-op elements to the game. I could stomp. I could run. I could swing and try and hit things. Although when he swings, it's a little clumsy and awkward. Uh, you can duck in this game, which I believe is new. I don't think there was duck in the first game. Uh, what else can I do? Let's Let's see what's coming up here. I haven't played this section yet. Uh, it seems like we're in kind of a safe zone, so... Thirteen days ago, Agent Ellie Langford and her team attempted a blind shock to an uncharted planet. She believes it holds the secret to stopping this monster epidemic. But we've been unable to make contact. Our number one priority is finding and securing Agent Langford and her team. So something you may notice, if you've never played Dead Space before, there's no HUD uh, heads-up display to show you like your health and your ammo. So the way it works is on my on Isaac's back, there's kind of this teal-colored bar the going vertically. So that's my health, and then there's a little half half circle there. Also, that's my static um, ability where I can slow things down. Stasis, I believe they call it. It's been a while since I've played any Dead Space games, so forgive me if I forget some of what things are called. Is my co-op buddy, buddy going to follow me? I'm not quite sure what his, his deal is, but anyway, let me see if I can get into some fighting. I'll try not to die. Uh, I don't know quite where we are, what's going on. If you press down on the the right stick, it'll show you where you need to go, your objectives, so that's nice. There is some sort of exploring around. It's mostly just kind of finding weapons and uh, it's, you know, there's not a lot of deviating from the path. You know, like here I did, I ran down this corridor so I can pick up some ammo. Um, I do like that you don't have to like bend over. I got an artifact. Here's Here's sort of your menu. I do like the fact that in this uh, the Dead Space since the first game you can um, you don't have to like look down to pick objects up. See, my inventory is pretty full, uh, so that's kind of the main conceit of Dead Space is that you can only carry so much, and it's just a matter of like, well, what's more important, no ammo or health or stasis? Uh, looks pretty cool there. This this little view. Uh, the graphics are pretty pretty nice. It it definitely feels like a, a reboot to uh, to the series, and it was interesting because the last game I was playing and doing some gameplay uh, a couple weeks ago was 
DMC Devil May Cry, which was a total reboot. Oh, this is kind of a little bit of a cutscene here. Let's see what happens. 15 seconds to target. Standing by to D-Shop. All right, people, we're going in blind, so stay tight on that exit vector. Rosen, count it out. Exit beacon locked. De-shocking in five, four, three, two, one. Right, de shocking. What the hell is that? The moon. What's left of one? Frozen! I see it! Christ, this place is a junkyard. It's more like a graveyard. Any sign of Ellie's ship? I'm reading several transponders, but none of them are ours. According to the registry, they're sovereign colonies warships. You serious? It'd be over 200 years old. Wait, wait. I'm getting something. It's an SOS coming from that ship dead ahead. The CMS Roanoke. It could be, Ellie. Yeah, let's hope so. All right, Rosen, close to 500 clicks. Aye, right, sir. Those lights. Are they beacons? Hang on. No. My! Rosen, get us out of here! Collision warning. Brace for impact. I can't. Okay, I'm in control now. I'm not in control now. <laughs> Grab some of that paneling and seal up that doorway. Since when are you giving the orders? Since somebody else has a fucking plan. Look, I'll explain as I go. Carver, where can I find an EVA suit? Down that way! Okay, now I'm in control again. <laughs> so there's a lot of times in this game where you're going in and out of cutscenes and <laughs> you actually don't know when you're in control or not. Like right now I can't do anything. <laughs> so it actually kind of bugs me. I like just being in control. Obviously, you know, these cutscenes they want to show off how awesome the graphics are on the dev team and how hard they worked. Let's see, can I run and jump? This all looks neat. Health is getting low. I don't know. I'm not going to die, am I? Let's go in there. I really don't like to die when I'm recording these gameplay commentary things for you guys. No, get that helmet. I think that scene might have been on the trailer. Alright, I am terrible at flying, so this is actually not the best time to jump in and okay. I can see the room. Rosen, lock. Brace yourselves. Once I release the clamps, it's gonna blow us clear of the Adora. Everyone find something to hang on to. Where to? Down here? I don't know what it is I need to do or what button. I'm now upside down. Is that good or bad? Looks like it's telling me to go down here. Ah, oh, you know, I get dizzy kind of easily with flying. So. Okay, there we go. I'm using my telekinesis here to, to do stuff. I think, or at least I'm trying to. <laughs> See, it looks like a couple of clamps. So you the telekinesis you aim and then hit B and you can move things around. 
Is there another one? Looks like maybe over on this side. Hope I'm not getting anybody dizzy here. Did I do this clamp already? Hit it or something. Oh, shit. All right. Well, some of the puzzle stuff has actually been a little confusing. Uh, as you can see right there, the the objective of what I need to do was kind of vague, but you know, we got it. Now we're now I'm flying. Whoa! I can't slow it down. Try to steer towards me. I can almost reach you. So if you if you've ever played any of the other Dead Space games, oh, did I just die right there? It's weird, I have my, my flight inverted, so this is actually kind of throwing me off a little bit here. Try to steer towards me! I can almost reach you! Whoa, fine! I can't slow it down! Try to steer towards me! I can almost reach you! Whoa, mine! Mine! Do that again. Can you make it to that cargo dock? Yeah. Yeah, you think there's air on board? Ellie's SOS is coming from somewhere inside, so let's hope so. Alright, so there was there was like flying and stuff in the, the first couple of Dead Space games, but that was definitely more uh uh what the song I don't know. More of an action packed D. There's no way to activate the cargo doors. I think there's a manual crank on the other door. See it? Right. I'll see if I can get inside. This all looks neat. Okay, I got my little objective marker there. Well, I'm not getting I'm not taking damage when I hit walls, so that's good. <laughs> Click left stick, okay. Hold with kinesis. Oh boy. It's like I'm like learning stuff here. Learning how to do my powers. Alright, Isaac, let's go in. We're now, our feet are on the ground. Well, we got air. Let's see if we can find some aliens. Sign of Ellie? No. Looks like I'm the first person through here in a long time. I'll try to open the cargo doors. Hang on. Alright, you know there's gonna be some aliens. What is this? All is lost? So, when you aim, a flashlight pops up. So you can kind of see a little more of the detail. So this is kind of the heart and soul of the game. That flying around stuff that, that I had such a hard time doing. That's not Dead Space. That's just, you know, some in-between stuff. For the, for the messing arounds. That's not blue. Looks like the telekinesis works on the blue stuff. Should I, do I need to reload here? So generally, aliens will pop out and... Hey, look at this. We got a new, new weapon thing or something. I probably have to make that next time I'm 
near like one of the workbenches or something. So the first dead space was scary. You were in a corridor and you didn't know what was happening. It was very moody. The second dead space had a lot of that. Also, in this one, not so much scary. This one is a little more action. Action friendly. really pale. I can't stop the bleeding. Isaac, okay, meet me at the door. I can let you in from this side. Why would I? Why would I need to use these guys? These for something? Can like launch? You can like hold stuff with the telekinesis and then launch it. That's kind of an ability. Anything in this room here to find? I wonder how the rest of the crew walked around opening up these doors without the telekinesis. Proceed with caution. Da, 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 da. Ellie's SOS is coming from deeper inside this ship, but I can't leave Rosen in lock. Send me the coordinates. I'll go check it out. Here you go. You don't stray too far. That's an order. That's an order. Hey, I'm not like a military guy. Go up this. Let's climb. Let's check out Isaac's booty. So you smash these crates and they'll give you like ammo and scraps and things, transducer. So, you know, that's kind of the collectible thing. I'm assuming, you know, th no offense, but I'm assuming a lot of you guys have probably already heard of Dead Space 1 or 2 or something. I mean, this is the third one in the franchise. It's by the same company that kind of made the other ones, as far as I know, and um, it definitely has a lot of the same core elements to it. It's just a lot of a little more dialogue and stuff, you know. Isaac's very talkative. There was like humans and stuff to like fight in the beginning of the game. Okay, it's saving. So that means like ten aliens are about to drop down and come Dead and get end. me, right? Looks like someone shut a bulkhead for quarantine. No. Can we cut through it? No. It's too thick. But it might cycle open if I can power it up. Alright, these little cube guys, these are this is familiar territory here from the last game, or last couple games. Oh, I'm having a hard time getting in there. Power cell. Craft a weapon. All right. That did it. And there's a bench on the same circuit. Bench? With all the parts lying around here, I bet I can make a better weapon than this one. Yeah. Yeah. Smart thinking. So that's uh, so that's something that we've had since like the first Dead Space, I think. Right? The bench, modifying things. They really went kind of nuts in the second game. With. Uh, with the updating. What well, on the bench? Uh, this is the first time I'm using the bench. This is the bench tutorial. I'm just kind of jumping through here because, you know. So, upgrade the power tool. Hmm. Can I switch? Every weapon has an upper tool. Okay, well, I'm just going to hit A because I feel like I'm still going through the tutorial. Okay, here we go. So, do I want to open? Upgrade my right or left weapon. Hmm. Let's upgrade this. Attachment. Hmm. So this is kind of like my little Uzi gun. Engineer high currency. Hmm. I don't really want to spend too much time messing around with this. Or I can make a new weapon. Alright, craft a new weapon. This sounds like fun. Craft new weapon frame. Heavy standard frame. Tell us the cores. Alright. We'll do that. And... Let's add 
that. Upgrade circuits. What happened? Did I do something bad? Reload. Apply circuits to improve. Seems to be making making bad noises like I've I've done something wrong. This is a little more epic. All right, sounds like something's happening. The new weapon has been put in your safe. Where is my safe? Move to left weapon slot. All right, can you only have two weapon slots? Hmm. That's interesting. Normally you can have four. Okay, well this looks like a, a new gun. What does this do? Sort of shoots an energy blast. Kind of, kind of looks like something from the last Dead Space. Dead Space Two. But. It's interesting. Did they make it so that you can only have two weapons now instead of four? Hmm. Well, that's a big change. Okay. Let's move on. If you guys are still watching this video, I appreciate you checking things out. Watch me, watch me kind of mess around some dead space. Like I said, this is early in the game. I uh, haven't had a lot of action or things going on. It's, it's a mood setter. I mean, look at all this blood, look at all this gore. There's probably going to be an alien or xenomorph or whatever they call them popping up at some point. I don't know if they use xenomorph. Uh, ectomorph? Something. There we go. Here's some noises. They're coming. Run, Forrest! Alright, well that new weapon, I don't know. I don't have a new weapon. Doesn't seem to do much. Son of a... Hey guys, we're in Grab to look at me What is it? What's going on? I, I just can't. got jumped by what's left of the crew. What? No one could have survived out here that long. They didn't survive. They got turned into those things. What? Okay, what do we do? You keep your weapon ready and you stay the hell away from the ventilation ducts. If they get close, shoot for the lips. You got that? I said you got that! Yeah, yeah, okay, okay! You can usually, like, stomp on the enemies and they'll give you some extra, extra goodies sometimes. Aim, let's see, aim and press B to grab the kines kinesis. Enabled objects, all right, like this stuff here. Oh, I see, I have to move this stuff, blocking the door. So what happened with this weapon here, man? Does it just do nothing? Oh, it's shot off a beam there, chopped off his legs. So I think I was saying, you know, I appreciate you guys watching this video, checking out the uh, all the videos on my channel. If you want to see more of Dead Space or read about more, we're going to actually have a full review on the website, uh, coinop.tv. 
well, you know, I didn't open up that other... Eh, I'll leave it for now. And, um... So, yes, you know, check out the website for, for more details on the game, sort of full review. Oh, man, I missed. It's hard to... It's hard to aim for the limbs when they're, like, coming at you. Oh, no, I got two dudes. These, these monsters, zombie dudes, sir. No. Faster. I don't want to slap them. I want to. I want to shoot at them. <laughs> I mean, look how fast that guy is. And. <laughs> In the first game, there was there was like hardly any that were that fast. You got to like a boss battle or something, and and they would be that fast. So that's kind of like you know the the idea of things with Dead Space. I mean, it's it's moody, it's kind of weird, disturbing, um, not quite as scary, I guess. You know, I mean, maybe things get a little crazier further in the game. Uh, I've been checking out some reviews. People sort of talking about the game, kind of some, you know, people kind of been on the fence with it, with uh, you know, uh, with the grading and the reviews and stuff. But I mean, oh, so far I'm digging it. It's like fun. It's kind of like a revamp. There we go. The teaser. You see a little alien, and then he sort of disappears. See, I didn't realize I had a limited time on this door here. Let me find a few more aliens before I wrap up this video. I'm not quite sure how much... How much of Dead Space 3 you want to watch. But um, definitely let me know in the comments what you think of Dead Space 3. Hit that like button. If, uh, if you watch this video and you're digging it. Oh no, it's like right there. I woke him up. Gotta watch out. Sometimes they, uh, <laughs> sometimes even when they're down on the ground, they'll still be sort of alive and popping up, popping up and trying to claw you there. It's a good idea to keep your weapons, your ammo, ready to go there. Hmm. That's locked. There are, you know, these little hub areas where, you know, you can kind of revisit stuff. Upgrade circuit. Cool. Oh, no. So there sure is a lot of things popping up on the screen here. I know this is kind of early on in the game. And you can actually turn off the uh, tutorials if you want, but, you know... I figured I figured we're adventuring on checking out the game together, you know, you want to have the subtitles and and uh, the tutorial and stuff. Launch and land. Click. It looks like we may we may see some. My full on my meta pack there. To let me pick that up. 
All right, some more flying. Oh no! Can't fight while I'm flying. This is a terrible idea. This guy looks pretty gruesome. Oh no, he's gonna shoot those little tentacle things at me. It's like flashbacks to like the last Dead Space game. Alright, screw fighting those guys. We're gonna run. Isaac the chicken. Text log found. Uh, do I want. There we go. My apologies. There's text logs. Uh, yeah, I'm not into really reading much, but I'm playing a little horror or action or whatever this is. People say don't call it a horror survival game. It's sort of more of like. Imagine like Gears of War without your Gears buddies with you. It's just you. There's no cover. You have hardly any weapons or ammo. <laughs> Uh, maybe I shouldn't say Gears of War. Hmm. I mean, that's the thing about Dead Space. It was kind of a game all onto its own, and, and it's still kind of... It's kind of hard to lump it in with other Are games. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Alright, I think that's holding them for now. Good. I mean... The SOS is coming from directly above me. And it looks like I found the ship's primary generator. If I can get power going, it should unlock the crossover for you. Alright, what about you? Uh, there's an elevator here that goes straight up the spire. I'll meet you at Ellie's coordinates. I guess it feels kind of like a little more like a Resident Evil type of thing. I mean, I'm sure... I'm sure people have sort of compared it to that. To the Resident Evil franchise. Although, like, if you played Dead Space 1, you didn't really attribute it to, like, a Resident Evil type game. It was... But Dead Space 3 definitely feels more... Resident Evil, Resident Evil like, if I could say that. But I'm having fun, you know, I'm digging it, and um, I'm not quite sure if I'd recommend, you know, everybody run out and buying it. There is a, um, there is a demo, I believe. So, that's something, you know, to consider. Did I miss one? There's something above me. So if you get lost, you just kind of push down on the right stick there and... Alright, what am I missing? <laughs> I've I've fought evils, the evils of... And, and flown, and now I'm here. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Oh, hey, I can pick you up. Toss whatever that is. <clears throat> it wasn't my intention to go out, go out on this video, kind of lost and confused. I was kind of hoping to actually die and then just say like, "All right, that's the end of this video." Do this one. I guess maybe I missed that one. Okay, there's that. And then what? This? Okay, that feels promising. Let me run around over here now. Although it kind of seems like it stopped. I don't have to do this both at the same time. They're really not going to do that gag, are they? I don't I don't know if I can make it to both of those at the same time. Let's go back over here. According to the map thing, I have to be right here. Well, I'm gonna end this video.
Yeah, let me see if I can. All right, I I just wasn't holding it long enough. Oh boy. Ah, transformed. It's probably a dude behind me. I can't see. <laughs> Damn it. Damn you. I think they're called necromorphs. They're dead. I kill for grenade right about now. Ah. You can switch weapons while you're running. That's nice. Alright, not bad, not bad. We're still alive. The music is gone, so that means safety. Safety for a few minutes, right? It's like bring bring back memories. This is this is like the last Dead Space game. It was like, alright, right when you turn some knob, that's when the uh the bad guys know to just pop out, right? Alright, what do I gotta do? The other one now? So the trick is you gotta hold B down until this thing cranks up enough to do that. And then of course it will disturb the peace. Bring out some more bad guys. Hmm. Is there a third one that I'm not seeing? Do 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 running. I don't remember if you could run in the first game. Maybe you could. Kind of itching to play the first game now. All right, that was the. Uh, Slowing down powers. <laughs> Trying to demonstrate a few things here. Luckily, I have enough uh, health to to battle these guys. G generally, when you get a little further in the game, you'll have like one health pack or something. And uh, it, they'll make it a little easier to get killed. So, uh, so yeah, your powers you have like your stasis and um, your your telekinesis and stuff. So that's why I was trying to do a little stasis there to freeze those dudes. Okay, now what? I go over here, flip the switch. I think uh, I think I'll do that, and then I'll end this video. I appreciate you. Checking it out. I'm Rob from CoinOp TV. Let's see what happens. Hey, hey, we have power. The crossover just opened up. You're welcome. Rosen, lock, you stay put. Isaac Carver will rendezvous with the spire. Got it. Hey, I wasn't even paying attention. I was like watching the cutscene there. Can't attack me while I'm watching a cutscene. <laughs> Alright, so it's a. Uh... Ah, oh, come on. Die, you aliens. Uh, so yeah, I was about to say, you know, thanks a bunch for watching. It's me, Rob CoinFTV. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, it's youtube.com slash CoinFTV. Hit that subscribe button. Leave me a comment. I know I didn't do so amazing in this video, but, you know, hey, it's been a while since I played Dead Space. And, you know, these early levels are just kind of like more about figuring out what the heck. You know, so you can pick up, pick up parts and stuff. See, this is cool. How many how many games let you do this? Let you like launch dead body parts and into things, right? 
anyway so uh you know we'll have some more uh you know videos if you guys are not checking out the videos on my channel check them out a lot of skylander videos if you're a skylander fan lots and lots of skylanders videos so open i guess i don't need my telekinesis there for that so um you know come back if you're a skylanders fan and uh, i'm gonna also put up a guardians of middle earth uh, video that brian put together of uh, some of the new characters and uh lots of dms some couple of dmc double may cry videos not long ago it's cool right promo my channel while i'm while i'm just kind of walking through the game that's allowed right now, let me get my hero shot here to end all right guys hit that like button if you're a, if you're a fan of dead space 3 we'll see you next time later